Welcome to Module 3, Video 3, from the Safe and Effective Use of AI in Education Online Resources. This video explores the importance of careful choices and a critical mindset when using generative AI. A critical mindset is a kind of thinking in which you question, analyse, interpret, evaluate and make a judgement about something that you read, hear, say or write. We know this is particularly important when using generative AI. The persuasive tone that many AI systems take can sometimes make it difficult to be objective. And I think those types of considerations are going to be incredibly important as the tools in AI allow for them to create more rapidly, to um, share uh, more widely, and in many cases sometimes make it indistinguishable from something that they might have created over an expanded length of time or that they can create now in five to ten seconds. Teachers can critically evaluate the output from generative AI by really being mindful about, well, first of all, what is it you want the tool to do? So is it in terms of summarising information? Is it in terms of ensuring that uh, resources are presented in an engaging way? So having the framework in mind about what you wanted to do and then checking, has it met that particular criteria? But also more essentially ensuring that um, the information it provides is accurate as well and it's appropriate to suit the learning needs of the students that they teach. I think one of the things that we don't talk about enough is AI literacy. So there is AI in teaching and learning and keeping our children safe and extending their understanding and use of it. But then there's this whole other area of AI literacy. Um, and so we've actually have developed curriculum plans in terms of develop bringing in AI lessons into teaching and learning from a more pedantic technical point of view. And Whereas our teachers know things about being safe, they know about um, cyber security, they know about innovation and multimedia within our computing like curriculum, they don't know enough about AI literacy. And those components of um, understanding the history of AI, understanding what it means to to work with narrow AI or wide AI and what is composed of, what are the implications of using AI in all sorts of scenarios, we're not honing enough on that. And, and I think that, that conversation needs to still be has to come and it's emerging in this market space. Yeah, so um, if we're looking at specific neurodiversity needs, uh, we AI struggles sometimes. Um, you've got to think a lot of that content that's out there for AI is generated by neurotypical mindsets. It's generated with neurotypical data. It's generated with neurotypical examples. So I think if you are looking at a quick resource i can see its benefit but if you're really looking to fine tune that with like that sen expertise that's where the human comes in you know that's where ai is giving us that starting point and then we're developing that resource i haven't found a resource yet that really meets that need when you really drill down into it ai can be an incredibly useful tool for saving time streamlining tasks and improving efficiency in areas such as policy writing, lesson planning and letter writing, it can quickly generate drafts, summarise key points from lengthy documents and can bear existing policies against new legislation. This can free up valuable time for school leaders and staff, allowing them to focus on other priorities. However, while AI can take on much of the heavy lifting, there are moments where outsourcing too much of the thinking process can be risky. Some tasks require deep engagement critical analysis and professional judgment, things that AI cannot replicate. If we allow AI to do all of the work, we risk losing out on valuable learning, understanding and scrutiny that comes from thinking through a problem ourselves. A clear example of this is when drafting or updating a, a school or college policy. AI can certainly help by structuring a document, suggesting wording, and even identifying potential gaps based on new legislation. However, it remains the responsibility of school or college leaders to fully understand the legal requirements and ensure that policy is fit for purpose. Relying solely on AI could mean missing crucial nuances in the law, misinterpreting regulatory updates, or failing to tailor a policy to the specific needs of the organisation. A related challenge is the tendency to anthropomorphise AI, treating it as if it has intentions, reasoning, or understanding akin to human intelligence. AI does not think or know in the way people do. 
it processes patterns and probabilities based on its training data. When AI is framed as a sentient-like entity, users may overtrust its responses or are expected to behave ethically on its own, rather than recognising the need for human oversight. This misplaced perception can lead to complacency in evaluating AI-generated content and risks attributing authority to a system that ultimately lacks true comprehension. Recognising AI as a tool, and one that requires scrutiny and contextual understanding, helps mitigate these risks. As we've explored in this video, careful choices and a critical mindset is paramount when interacting with generative AI. And it's also important in evaluating whether or not we should choose to use AI for particular tasks. The way many AI systems have been designed to sound persuasive can easily sway our objectivity. But by taking a considered approach ourselves, we make it more likely that any output that we use coming from generative AI tools is appropriate for its intended use. And by emphasising critical thinking across the curriculum, we empower students and pupils.